Good morning, everyone. So here we are, our next to our last love letter, Easter love letters from God. And so today I will read to you the final letter for this week. And then next week we'll open up with the last love letter in the book. Today's story is titled The Quiet Cave. It comes from John's Gospel. Jesus had died. Joseph and Nicodemus were sad. They carefully took Jesus' body down from the cross. They cleaned him. They wrapped his body in strips of white linen and carried Jesus to a quiet cave on the hillside. They laid Jesus down inside the cave. Then they said goodbye. But before they left, they rolled a big stone over the entrance. Outside the cave, two guards kept watch. The big heavy stone was sealed in place, and for three whole days, all was still. But inside that quiet cave, God was working. If you tried to peek inside, you couldn't see anything. If you stood outside and you put your ear to the big stone, you couldn't hear anything. If you tried to imagine what was happening, you could not. But inside, God was doing something utterly amazing, something that only God could do. Jesus waited, and the world held its breath and waited with him. So God's wonderful words for us today comes from the prophet Isaiah. I am about to do something new. And I wanted to show you this because you could see the image of the caterpillar and the butterfly. And we know what science tells us, what happens with this process of change and transformation and metamorphosis. So it makes me think about God's performing this great miracle inside this tomb here that the soldiers are guarding. You ready for your love letter? Here we go. The stamp is a butterfly. Dear child of St. Andrews, do you like surprises? Inside that quiet cave, I was working on a surprise that no one could imagine. It would be the greatest surprise that the world had ever known. Something was happening to Jesus. My son was going to have a brand new life. But for three whole days, the world had to wait. Love God. So my friends, we're in this period of waiting. And waiting teaches us patience and humility and respect and we come to a greater place. And that's what we're about to find out with these stories, these love letters from God, the Easter love letters. So next week on Monday morning, when you open up your lesson plans, look for your final love letter. And I will read it to you about the resurrection and in the meantime, you could, if you wanted to, write your own love letter to God. Think about what has happened this week. You can see here, hopefully, you can see that you could actually write your own love letter, dear God, and tell him what you think about all that has happened so far. Let him know. And then Monday morning, I'll come to you again and you'll the big surprise will be revealed to you. 
So in the meantime, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being with us once again. Right now, you are in the quiet cave. May we ourselves find in those quiet places the joy, the love, the peace that can only come from you. We ask this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, and I wish you all a very happy, uh, joyful Easter. I'll see you next week. Take good care.